So University Sands Malaysia approached us uh, about a year and a half ago and they'd sort of scoured the globe for partners in different uh, areas of expertise and they contacted ECC because we are the leading people in terms of role analysis and competencies within the UK, uh, HE and FE sector. And they were interested in collaborating with us to partly uh, get us to deliver some training for them, uh, initially in London, possibly laterally in, in Malaysia, and then to do some joint service development as well. So we might see a version of uh, our products and services um, being delivered in, in Malaysia at some point in the future. We had about 20 people from uh, USM, University of Malaysia, and other public sector agencies over in London in October. And they were from, not all from HE, they were from media, uh, energy, the sort of equivalent of the Department of Work and Pensions, um, the equivalent of the Cabinet Office, so quite senior people. About 18 of them were here for a training programme which we delivered in London. And that was all about talent management and competency development. And as part of that programme, we took them for a study visit to the University of Oxford, which is one of our members. And they had a, a, a study day in, in Oxford, and that was a sort of a highlight of the visit. At the same time, I took four people from USM up to Scotland, and we visited the universities of St Andrews and Abertay, um, both very different universities, although only 20 miles apart, one very old, uh, one much newer. And they were interested in learning from them about how they tackle strategic planning and also what they do about um, entrepreneurship and students, employability, uh, opportunities to work with commercial agencies and, and a range of other issues as well. Certainly there are opportunities to work more with USM initially in Malaysia. Um, they're also very keen to work with us throughout Southeast Asia. Um, so that may, you know, Philippines, neighbouring countries like that. Um, they want to be seen as the leading uh, sort of thought leaders in that region in terms of HE and they're trying to tap into our expertise to do that. Um, it works for us because it's good in terms of our positioning and what's good for the consortium is good for its members. It also generates a little bit of income which uh, is, is helpful as a net contributor. Um, but importantly we, we mustn't divert from our core business which is to be here for our members. And I'm, I'm determined that whatever we do in Malaysia or the Far East will complement rather than um, inhibit what we do here in the UK. So it's not all one way and um, the, the interesting thing is that when two of us went out to Malaysia as their guests uh, at the start of uh, 2015 it was really clear that in some ways they were ahead of some of the UK thinking uh, in that they were interested in role analysis because it unlocks talent management, career development, succession planning, uh, performance management reward, a lot of the issues that we're talking about at today's conference. Um, rather than thinking, well, we do that so that we know what to do about pay and grading, because interestingly, a lot of the pay and grading is, is very determined centrally. It's a very uh, hierarchical, centralised state. And so what they're trying to tap into is the more, uh, in a sense, the more valuable aspects of rule analysis rather than just pay and grading.